guys, I hope you're okay. Today we're gonna spend a productive day together. I was in such a good mood this morning because I could see the sun shining through my curtains and I absolutely love opening them on mornings like this. For me, the best way to start a productive day is to strip the bedding straight away and put it in the wash. I always procrastinate it during the day, so if it's done in the morning, I feel so much better. And then is it even me if I don't bring up coffee in the first few minutes of a video? Honestly, it's an issue at this point, but I got a new coffee machine and I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. And then I just made myself a bowl of cereal. Good morning, my loves. I'm so sorry, I've been so behind with posting on YouTube. I've been so busy and I know that's not an excuse, but genuinely it's been so hard to kind of juggle everything. But I'm back and I'm gonna be posting again on YouTube. I just had a month where it was just all a bit manic. Anyway, today I thought we could spend the day together. I've got quite a lot of things to do, but I actually have a nail appointment in about half an hour, which is really exciting because my nails are not looking their best. I've actually started my biab journey, but these two, because my nails are so bendy underneath, have like lifted off, which is not cute, but they've grown quite a lot since my last appointment, which is very fun. But I'm running a little bit late as usual, so, I'm gonna show you guys my like rushed makeup routine. Use some lip balm because my lips are always extremely dry. So this video is actually sponsored by Elizabeth Arden, which is really, really exciting because you guys know how much I love their products. Today we are using the brand new 8 Hour Hydro Play Skin Perfecting Daily Moisturizer. This is supposedly like a miracle moisturizer. It has eight benefits. So it's hydrating, brightening, it refines your pores, so it's really nice underneath makeup. It strengthens your skin barrier and it also soothes your skin so it literally does everything in a moisturizer it's just perfect for those days where you know you're in a little bit of a rush you need one product to do everything this is the product you need and it feels super lightweight on your skin as well it doesn't feel heavy at all it's like quite water-based and it also has a botanical blurring complex which i wasn't familiar with until i started using this product but what it does is it just blurs out all your skin and mattifies your imperfections so it's almost just making your skin like a blank canvas ready for makeup and my skin's dry anyway so it just drinks up any product but this sinks in so quickly which i love it's not like sitting on your skin and being a little bit greasy it sinks right in and moisturizes your skin straight away i love elizabeth arden as well because all of their products are suitable for all skin types. They're very, you know, gentle and soothing. So I have really sensitive skin and my skin never has an issue with any of the products. And this is also a vegan formula. You can really see in my skin though where it's mattified my pores and just made everything look a little bit more airbrushed. It's also given me this gorgeous, gorgeous glow and it's not too much. It's just like a beautiful, natural shine. Like you can see if I look this way, it kind of looks like I'm wearing highlighter and I love that. It's definitely one of those products that's simplifies your beauty routine. You guys know by now I'm always running late and you know when you're putting on your makeup and you need like a toner, serum, moisturizer, all of this stuff, a primer, it's so nice to have a product that does it all. I love the consistency of it. I hate a moisturizer that feels you know like it's too much on your skin or it's blocking your pores. This is stunning. That is the 8 Hour Hydro Play from Elizabeth Arden. I always love their products so much and it's such an honor to work with them. And if you wanna buy it yourself, the link will be in the description. You guys, oh my gosh, I've been so unbelievably busy. I've been going back and forth from my like parents' house a lot. So it's been really hard to edit my videos when I'm constantly moving back and forth. But my sister just had a baby and oh my God, he is so, cute so yeah that's why i've been spending a lot of time at home but today i have quite a big to-do list to do so where i have been away from my apartment it's become such a mess i haven't really had any time to clean it so today is going to be a, like a big spring clean i need to film a video for tiktok because i haven't posted in a little while and then i received the most beautiful package from a brand called sunset adore so i think i'm gonna film like a little try on video for my story and then i'm actually planning my next formula one video over on instagram so i need to have a look on by rotation i think that's it really it's just you know, my apartment's so messy, it's gonna take probably half a day to clean. But I don't actually mind cleaning. It makes me feel like an independent woman. And voila, I'm gonna go get changed and then we will head off to get my nails done.
past a blank street, I can't not get one. I usually go for the iced white chocolate matcha, but today I was craving the blueberry one and it made me realize how good it was. I forgot about it. It's so delicious. Love it. I just got back to my apartment. My nails are refreshed. I just had two that needed a little bit of a reset. But you can see the growth difference. I mean, I've only had buy-up for like two and a half weeks. But like the gap on my first set and like how short the nail bed was compared to the one I just got done. Amazing. But Julia is actually like the best nail tech I've ever gone to. I just had an ASOS package delivered and I've been really excited for this one. I'm going to give you guys a little haul. I got some new jeans. I don't know why I'm going through a bit of like a, a jean sitch. I don't really, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I'm having a little bit of a jean crisis because i don't know if i want them to be like really baggy or skin like not skinny but straight leg but these i saw on asos and they looked really nice they're like a straight leg they're not that baggy and then i've been looking for a tank like this i really want to do like a slick bun gold earrings with this top i feel like it would be really cute this one is my f1 girlies it's monaco 16 for charles and i just thought it was really pretty clearly i'm loving my stripes right now but I can't wait to wear it in summer. And then this is ASOS Design. It's like this little pink ribbed cardigan. I am a sucker for a cardigan at the moment because we're in that weather period that's like, it's warm, but it's not warm. So stuff like this is perfect. That was my little haul. Oh, and then I also got the most stunning package from this brand, let me show you guys. So they actually DM'd me and I've seen their bags everywhere. And I was so happy when they messaged me. So yeah, this is all gifted. And they do the most beautiful makeup bags. And I got to pick the design. So this one's just like a floral one with some green details. And then they do the cutest like keyring bags. And I also got this one. This is a big one. And this pattern is like my favorite one they're doing right now. It's like little bows. Okay, I have so much cleaning to do. It's actually ridiculous. And I think what I'm going to do is just clean as quickly as I can. And then I'm going to make like a little to-do list. But first things first, I need to do the dishwasher because... I find that when the dishwasher is full, I end up leaving cups and bowls and stuff all around my apartment, which is gross, but let's be real, we all do it. These cups are actually so funny. <laughs> It is all clean. That took actually way longer than I thought, but oh my god, it feels so much better when it's all like put away and clean and the floor's all nice. So these are things that I need to put on my story because obviously I've been sent them and you know I just want to say like thank you. These are the clothes I think I'm gonna do a try on video now for my story. They're from Sunset Adore and like the quality of them is so nice, they're so thick. Oh my god, the window is open and there is building work. Let's not have that. This is top number one. I am obsessed with this so much. It's like baby blue. I don't actually own many clothes that are baby blue, but I saw this on the website and I was like, that is actually beautiful. I can imagine it with like linen trousers in summer. So cute. Next up, I'm feeling very chic in this one. It's like a navy strapless top and then it comes with this like, I don't know what you call this. Like a scarf, I assume. It looks so nice from the back. I can't really show you guys, but yeah so nice this brand is actually stunning and all of the pieces like i said before the fabric is so thick like it feels really expensive how beautiful is this i've just put on some little kitten heels to make it a full outfit but how pretty it feels so elegant and it's like so comfortable as well i feel like i'm gonna like it more with the mini skirt so i'm gonna try that on and then the mini skirt and i've just put on some like little white kitten heels but how beautiful. This is gonna be like a summer 
staple for events for sure. It is content time. I'm gonna film a few TikToks. I feel super glowy. I'm literally giving glazed donut right now. It's actually been really productive. I'm so proud of myself. I just filmed three videos and I've just posted one, but I used a new product. Where did it go? This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shimmer Body Oil and oh my god it's literally made me sparkly like i look like i'm glowing within this is the makeup look the objective was as glowy as possible and i think we achieved it i also tried the jeff avenue styling gel and it smells so good i wish there was like a body wash with this smell because it smells so clean but it did a really good job of like scraping everything back obviously i've got hairspray on but yeah, it was pretty good. All of a sudden it's gone the most awful weather. I'm so sad because I really wanted to go on a run and it's like pouring down outside. So that's not an option. So I think what I'm gonna do is tidy up a little bit. I've got some editing and some like admin stuff to do. And then maybe after that, I'll make myself some dinner and watch the Vampire Diaries because I am obsessed. I can't get over how glowy this makeup is. I literally love it. I am such a non-matte girl. I will be glowy for life. This is so bad though. Why do I make such a mess? I have decided it is dinner time because I'm absolutely starving. I think I'm gonna make some pasta with tuna and sweet corn, I think. Look at the back of my hair. Is it bad? The back of my hair is like none of my business. Like in my videos, you cannot see it, so. Okay, pasta time. It's funny how like this is actually like my my whole piece like my favorite part of the day is eating and watching the vampire diaries i actually enjoy it so much <laughs> It is gym time. I've actually put on the same outfit that I was wearing earlier because it was clean. So please don't judge me. This is like my favorite gym outfit lately. It's both Adenola. I just love their stuff so much. It's so like body hugging. Kind of get scared going to the gym downstairs just because it's quite small and there's not much equipment. So I kind of just sit there and don't really know what I'm doing, but it's fine. filming a night routine we've got the camera up and ready and i've just reorganized this little tray how cute does that look freshly showered skincare is done and i'm feeling like a new woman first of all i use the l'oreal refry to lift this is the eye cream and i've really been liking this recently and then i followed along with the road glazing milk and lastly i use the fresh sugar advanced therapy lip balm and then my favorite hand cream is the elizabeth arden eight hour cream and i also use the Byredo. Bibliotech perfume. That was my little skincare routine. Not gonna lie, I'm so tired. I'm so ready for bed. And now I think I'm gonna make a cup of tea. Oh my God, I just realized I used my last tea bag last night and I didn't get any today. That is so sad. This is like my idea of heaven. So we have, this is the book I'm reading at the moment. I'm not sure if I'm liking it so far. It seems a bit cliche. And I'm gonna watch an episode of Vampire Diaries I do every night before I go to bed. And then I have cold grapes. Oh my God, the crunchy grapes. That is my thing. I love it. And then look how cute this bowl is. It's like a little strawberry. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'm really going to try and get back on track with my posting. As always, let me know in the comments what videos you guys want to see. If you've watched this far, I love you so much. And I will see you in my next video.